Hey everybody, welcome back to Gray County Grillin'. I'm Chris, and today I'm going to be smoking a pork loin on the Weber kettle. Won't be able to taste it tonight though, because we are taking it to my son's beavers group, and we're going to have a Christmas potluck, but I can guarantee that it is going to taste great, probably. So here is our pork loin. It is about uh, seven to eight pounds, and as you can see, it's, it looks really good. And first step is we're going to inject it, and I've made up a bit of a marinade here. This is uh, about a cup of apple juice, some soy sauce, melted butter, and then just a little bit of the rub that we are going to throw on the pork just to give it uh, some flavor inside and out. Next, we'll just inject pork with a bit of this marinade. Now we'll let this sit for a little bit, and then come back and get the rub on. All right, the pork has sat for a good little bit and we've let the marinade kind of work its way all throughout. Now it is time to get the rub on. Once again, we're using Bad Byron's Butt Rub. It's a really good all-purpose rub on uh, anything pork I've found. So we're starting with the fat side up. Alright, well that looks like a good coating, so we're just going to let it sit for a little bit. We need to go shovel off the deck because we've gotten about three inches of snow just overnight and it's still coming down. So I got some work ahead of me before we can get this on the kettle. Let's stick around. The kettle is now up to temp. We got it sitting at about 2.30, so it is time for us to get that pork on. So you can see I've got a temperature probe and a potato right there. That's holding her in a good spot. Using the snake method, going two by two and we've got applewood in there. I imagine that snake is gonna be longer than what I need it to be, but you know, better to be safe than sorry, right? All right, we'll get this uh, pork on and come right back. The pork is now on and I've got my temperature probe in there. We're looking for an internal temperature of 145. That's when we're going to pull it. And then, like I said, it's going to, uh, we're not going to eat it here. We're going to eat it at the um, dinner that we're having with beavers, scouts, cubs. So it's going to be for a whole lot of people. And like I said, it's going to turn out awesome. So we'll come back in a little bit and see how it's doing. The pork's been on for about eh, 40 minutes now and it's, well, it doesn't look like much really compared to when I put it on, but uh, and it's going. You can see the snake is working and we've got some wood burning down there. Not too much to report. Uh, like I said earlier, I think I cook, I'm cooking it fat side down. That way that can kind of act like a buffer and uh, you don't not get burned anywhere. So. I don't know, we'll just uh, let it keep going and we will check back in in a little bit. We have hit 145 internal temperature on the pork loin. 
and it is looking and smelling fantastic. So I'm going to pull the probe out, take it inside, and we will let it rest for a few minutes before we cut in. The pork is sat and rested, and now we're going to cut into it and Here see how it looks. Oh, there's a handle. Couldn't figure out what that was. <laughs> oh, that's what that Why is. Why is there a hole? <laughs> well, that looks pretty good. Yeah, nice that color. looks excellent. And cut one more slice off. This will get a good look. There it is. There. That looks excellent. Okay, would you like a taste? Sure, I'll take a little piece. Gavin. <laughs> Thank you. Chris? That tastes really good. Not bad. No. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Tracy, thank you for cutting for me. You're welcome. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, share with your friends, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.